with um, ADA compliance and screen readers and anything that deals with um, information, it, it will read information a little bit more logically if it's in, a, in linear format. Um, a lot of people assume that when um, like a screen reader reads a table, it actually lets them know that it goes from cell to cell, and it does not. So um, if you use a table to um, set up like a set of numbers, the numbers all run together when they're read. So if um, you can identify them through a linear format and let it know that it's moving from number to number, it makes a little bit more sense when it's, it's read out loud and through the screen readers. I have found that um, you know if they're dollar amounts, I know that in, in accounting a lot of times they don't use the dollar signs except for maybe in the first row or the last row, but um, for um, screen readers it makes it easier if it, it will read off that it is a dollar amount or it's a percentage and that will separate the numbers in a, in a linear format a little bit easier. Um, even if you do choose to do tables, um, you should have the dollar or the percent sign in there, so that will also help separate it when it is being read through the tables as well. In the past, a lot of times when we block things up, we, it was easier to set it up through tables um, because a lot of people did not have the skills to, um, to, to use, you know, set up tabs and stuff like that. So it was easier to just go in and set up a table and, and put stuff in block formats that way. Um, I think that if we, um, if, if we are going to use tables, we've got to make sure that they're accessible and put them in Word so that they can, you know, be set up properly. And um, I think one of the big things is, is taking the time to run a screen reader on your information to make sure that it is being read way, the way you perceived it to be. And, um, and if we take that time to go through it that way, it'll, it will make more sense to everybody who's looking at it. You can have alt text and you can also define your first row as a header row in Word or and when it converts it to the PDF it keeps the alt tags on it. Um, you can also add extra alt tags with definitions in a PDF document which you cannot do in some of the learning management systems. So um, again I would still emphasize if you are going to use a table that um, you run a screen reader, even just a simple one through a PDF and through Adobe and see if it makes sense. And um, I think that you'll find that in a lot of cases you have to do a little bit more tweaking to it, like putting the dollar signs in and the percent signs to separate the numbers. Thank you.